Did you just buy the hottest JDM car from the 90s? Yes! Did you just get the Nissan 300ZX? Yes, yes! Did you just buy a 300ZX and don't know where to start and what to do with it? Yes, yes, yes! Do you have to do all the maintenance that somebody else hasn't done for the last 20 years? Yes! Welcome to 300ZX Ownership. This is gonna be a top 10 list of upgrades or replacements on your 300ZX if you just bought one or haven't gotten around to it. All right, number 10 on this list is gonna be your suspension, ball joints, tie rod ends. This stuff goes bad over time. If it hasn't been replaced in the last 20 years, it's probably bad. One way to check and see if these are bad, look underneath your car when the tie rod meets the knuckle, see if there's any grease oozing out. Loose play, you can grab the tire, shake it from side to side. One way will check your wheel bearing. The other way will check to see if your tie rods or ball joints are bad. It'd be a good place to start on the front to make sure that your tie rod ends are good. Just the suspension in general. Probably while you're down there, go ahead and check out your tires as well. Because there's a good chance that if you have older tires and wore out ball joints, you're probably gonna replace all that at once. Uh, 300ZX ownership isn't cheap, but welcome. One thing about the 300ZX right now, it's kind of like the cheapest JDM car from the 90s besides Honda Civics that you can get into still. It was a flagship car in the 90s, still is pretty awesome, and the fact that you can get a twin turbo 300ZX for under $10,000 is pretty awesome, but it comes with a little bit of baggage, and that's what you're here for. So number nine on this list, I'm gonna say new fuel pump and filter. Fuel filter for sure, it just needs to be done. That's one thing that gets overlooked all the time. Luckily for the 300ZX, it's right on top of the strut tower. That's super easy to get to. Now for the new fuel pump, this is <laughs> what hopefully you're gonna find out really quickly if you bought a dud or a stud. Because if a lot of these cars have been sitting around for a while and sit around with full gas tanks, the gas can turn to varnish, destroy everything in your fuel tank, and possibly a new gas tank. Hopefully that's not the case and you can just throw a new fill pump in and be on your way. Number eight on the list, new alternator. There's a good chance that these cars just get passed around and never get a new alternator put on them because these 30 year alternators are gonna give up on you. It's just a matter of time. Why not do yourself a favor and go ahead and replace this alternator? Get ahead of this thing leaving you stranded on the side of the road and you're just chalking it up to it being a 300ZX when the case is it needed a lot of maintenance done and no one has done it. But that's where you come in because you bought a 300ZX, so welcome. Number seven is just, this is like a creature comfort, your rear hatch struts. The hatch on the 300ZX is heavy. Oh, there's a good chance in the last 30 years they have not been replaced and they're just wore out. Go ahead and get yourself some new hatch struts. Don't go cheap on this one. Don't just go buy whatever on Amazon, no name hatch struts that say they'll work for your car. Take the time, let's go over to Z1 or Concept Z, get the right hatch struts for your car that are manufactured for your car that aren't just gonna blow out in about a month. And it's way better than embarrassing having to hold your hatch up and it's falling down on your head and that's just not safe. Number six is that battery that I talked about earlier. And not just the battery, but the battery terminals. There's a good chance that these battery terminals have been used and abused over the years. And I've seen some terrible stuff where people jam screws in it to get it to try to connect to the battery where they literally put a screw, a drywall screw in between the battery terminal and the battery post to try to keep it uh, tight on there. That's a good chance they probably just need replaced. Go ahead and take one afternoon. Replace your battery cables, and hey, while you're at it, why don't you watch my video about how we replace battery cables on our 300ZX. It's actually pretty easy. All right, number five on the list is actually something that I think it's extremely overlooked. I have yet to come across a 300ZX that has this intact, the original one still intact. All of them have been destroyed. That is the passenger side cowl panel. It goes over the battery. Now the reason these get destroyed is it goes over the battery and to replace the battery, that's what the battery terminals that I talked about previously, you need to actually remove this piece. Most people do not want to take the time and they will try to wedge the battery out of there, break this panel apart. Your car could be a great specimen if that cowl's missing, as it has been missing for a while. There's a good chance there's rust down there and you don't want to have to deal with that. So. Get this cow piece, it's super overlooked and super important to have it replaced. Number four 
I've seen this on every 300ZX I have looked at so far and it gets overlooked. I just don't think people even think about them because the hose itself will look okay, but it has gone beyond its serviceable life. That is your power steering J hose on the return line on your power steering. These just wear out over time. The engine bay is hot. It's 30 year old hose. It's rubber. It cracks, it doesn't seal as well, and it sweats out power steering fluid. It's all over your alternator, and there's a good chance you'll think your power steering pump is leaking, but it's just this J hose. I've even, I've seen people repump, replace their power steering pump, their high pressure hose, before they replace this power steering J hose, and then was the J hose the whole time. So if you have power steering leaking out, and I'm not like a drip, but sweating, you'll be able to see if it's dirty on your frame rails just underneath. If it looks like your alternator is caked in dirt and grime and grease, the Series 1 fuel injectors. Series 1 fuel injectors on your 300ZX are known to go bad. They will corrode. They will not perform. They will give you drivability issues. It will be a bad time and should be upgraded to Series 2 fuel injectors. Now, to do this in fuel injection replacement and upgrade, you will need some parts. If they're not a, just a direct fit. Z1 and Concept Z specialize in kits for this conversion. This is also a good time too if you plan on upping the boost on your twin turbo model or if you're doing an NA to twin turbo conversion, you can go ahead and get some bigger fuel injectors that are going to be for what you need. Now if you get to this point on the list and you're doing everything, we have a new fuel pump, we have new fuel filter, and now we have new fuel injectors. We are good to go. Our fuel system is good to go. So top three, I'm just gonna tell you what the top three consist of right now. Top three, gonna be like your valve covers, valve cover gaskets. The intake manifold on this car is tricky and kind of sucks. You gotta pull it off to get to the valve covers. That's why I put this on here because they probably never got done. Or you take the intake manifold off, get to your valve covers, get those gaskets replaced and sealed up. And then while you're doing that, you need to replace all the gaskets and the spark plugs. The spark plugs have its own galley with uh, its own spark plug cover and all those have gaskets. It's to try and keep the oil and dirt and debris all out of there if, it start, if your valve cover gaskets start to leak. So there's a good chance that uh, it's covered in oil. That's why I say to take your intake manifold off and do the valve cover gaskets because uh, if you're dumping oil into your spark plugs, you're not getting the performance that you need. You're gonna have drivability issues. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that done. So now while, while we got the intake manifold off, let's go ahead and do our deletes. Clean up our intake manifold, change our spark plugs, change our valve covers, change all the gaskets that are under there. You gotta take this off anyways to replace your fuel injectors so that's going to go right back in there so a lot of this stuff needs to kind of all be done at once if you haven't noticed that and then that brings us up to number one of the most important thing to keep your 300 zx reliable and enjoy driving it make sure you don't blow up your motor that's a 120k service or timing belt service if you're going to do the timing belt might as well just do the complete 120k service all at once that way you know it's done new water pump new tensioner new uh, pulleys new belt all new seals, front main seal, camshaft seals, everything. And that's why taking off the intake manifold at the same time and doing the intake manifold service, valve cover gaskets and 120K service, fuel injectors, all that stuff all at once is uh, gonna save you a lot of time and hassle than doing one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. So if you can do all that stuff at once, that's number one, two, and three. This is our top 10 list for keeping your 300ZX. I guess not even keeping it like the top 10 maintenance list to tackle if you just bought a 300ZX or you have one and you know some stuff has been neglected on it. You hit these top 10 lists and you're going to be doing good and be enjoying your 300ZX for years to come. All right, you guys have any questions? Hit me down in the comments. You like this video? You watch this far. I mean, you watch this far at least. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps our channel. Hit this thumbs up so somebody else can find this content. I guess that's it. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.